Gamers, gals, and my non-binary pals, welcome to some of the spiciest drama regarding the NAWCQ season. This is a bunch of funny tweets, a bunch of just funny tweets about the event, and just everything that generally went on regarding it as a whole. Uh, the NAWCQ was a little bit of a bust starting out. It, uh, it did not start well. Look at that. It's amazing. So for those of you who may be wondering why there's a firefighter uh, outside of the NAWCQ, it is because there was not only awful management within the system, there wasn't just a shooting at a mall 10 minutes away from the venue, but because somebody maliciously pulled the fire alarm in the middle of side events. As a result, the police and firefighters- So yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty funny. I have never taken such a pure, wholesome, candid photo until today. Thank you, Crush Cards. I'm making this my wallpaper, actual Hallmark ad. My handsome boys, photogenic baby. It's Brian and Gage taking a nice, cute little picture. And then Farfa comes in to ruin everything, as he does. Uh, just Brian, you know, holding, holding a dude's thigh. Look, man, he's just trying to get a little stroke action going on. He's trying to tenderize the meat. He's trying to warm up the oven. He's just trying to, he's just trying to get, he's just trying to get some, you know? Scapegoat YGO. I believe in scapegoat supremacy. You know what? This is pretty based. Where he, uh, where he got into the camera and he showed the, the scapegoat plushie. That's pretty sick. I would honestly, uh, I would do this except with like a cutout of like Pell Delphi. <laughs> Good screenshot. My face when I summon DP. This was a legendary duel. I actually really like this character role. Yeah, this is Aster Phoenix's uh, voice actor. Checkmate liver <laughs> You could probably Photoshop this and put it onto like a Turning Point America thing. No knock against my man, but this is this is an Aster Phoenix face. We've got my good friend Elise. You know, her and Cody Angeloff. They're good people. They're good friends. You know, people within similar uh, testing groups. People that share a common love for high-level competitive Yu-Gi-Oh. Cody really eating steak with ranch. Look at that. Look at this little cum splooge pile. Oh my god. Death. Immediate death. I don't know where this was taken. It might have been taken at Anime Expo. But I am seeing three monster cards and Seto Kaiba about to summon God. Yu-Gi-Oh! in the wild, as Kazuki Takahashi intended. New Doug Z tweet. My friend really just activated his credit card. And it's, um, it's a credit card shell at the gas station saying approved, thank you. I don't know if it's 22,000 retweets. I don't know if it's 230,000 likes. Like, yeah, Dyer is right. Every other month we do get this tweet. This is just like a normal ass tweet, okay? <laughs> this, this is a normal human. DZ for really capitalizing on Yugi Zoomers. All right, let's talk about the event itself. We have lists for top four. So in fourth, third slash fourth place, we have got Elijah Green playing Marincess. This deck is so fucking sick. I love this deck. I literally messaged my friend Jesse, type, 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 Jesse, we need to play Marincess. Elijah Green won the event. Uh, turns out he actually sold it, so unlucky. Third place was Flunder with Simor, Bird of Perfection in the main. I don't know what it does. I'm pretty sure it just gives you an additional normal summon. Who cares? Uh, all you gotta know is that Flunder do, be, uh, Flunder do be doing its thing. Second place, got Ryan Yu. Boy Wonder himself. Second place, unfortunate, did not cinch it out in the finals. A 10 card extra deck. Yo! <laughs> Yo, what? No way. Was this a deck list error? It had to have been. Oh, it was an error. Okay. Thank you, random person. Uh, Ash Blossom, Ogre, Valor, Droplet, Imperm, Nibiru, Mystic Mine. How many card How many going second cards then? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, I'm gonna count the Sky Striker cards as going second. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 26 going second cards in the, in the main. And in the side deck, uh, five floodgates. <laughs> five, eight floodgates. My god. This really is the darkest timeline. But you know what is even worse? First place. First place playing... Sword Soul Tenyi, yep. Good old Sword Soul Tenyi. Oh, what's this? Three Mystic Mind main, three Rivalry main, three Anti Spell side. Anyways, this really is <laughs> the fucking worst. For those of you who didn't see the, the feature match, let's actually take a look at it. 
All right, Hansel, starting strong with Rivalry of Warlords. Ryan, you looking at his hand? Oh, and Hansel takes the dub. Let's take a look at game two. Oh, what, what's that? There can be only one. That's crazy. Really skilled gameplay uh, coming out from both Ryan and Hansel. And then game three. Oh, what's that? Anti-spell fragrance. Oh, what comes down later? Rivalry of Warlord, extend the handshake. Oh, baby, we have ourselves a North American champion. My god, this really is the darkest timeline. <laughs> oh, I love this game. I love Yu-Gi-Oh. Shoutouts to uh, Hansel A, two-time North American champion and flood deck main decker this was the real winner of the nawcq the merchant from resident evil i mean look he is literally rolling up like the like the heroin addict addicted Yu-Gi-Oh player he's like you got any perks nah all right let's play some Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> all i'm saying was that choosing the most drug dealer looking hoodie was probably not the best idea if you if you didn't want funny resident evil memes to be made Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. From Smitty, YGO. Ryan Yu, do you have anything in standby? Hansel, anti-spell fragrance. Good meme, good meme. Joshua Schmidt coming in. We need a generic main deckable quick play spell that outs floodgates. Cosmic and twin are not it. Needs to be removal slash negation for monsters as well, or it'll never be good into combo decks. They will never please get, get rid of floodgates, so please give us such a card at least. Chat, we need to power creep Forbidden Droplet. <laughs> Chat, imagine the timeline where Forbidden Droplet gets power crept. Like Lightning Droplet, where if you have no cards on the field, the first effect is Droplet. And then the second effect is just negate all back row as well. Raphael Navin, we need Red Reboot at 3 again. My man is speaking the truth. I remember years, 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 years ago, I was playing in the finals of, I think, a either a side event or an OTS championship. I was against Altergeist. I was playing True Draco. I was like, I set up my True Draco board, no floodgates. The guy does his turn. He got pa turn passes to me, activates his trap card. I activate Red Reboot from hand. Next turn, I'm like, duality, okay, add this. Next turn, he does his play. He flips a trap card, Red Reboot. Comes to my turn again. Card of Demise, go into Desires. He tries to flip a trap card. Red Reboot, swing for game. Gotta love it. 